This is our history class. Today we are looking at emergence of the Fourth Republic, that is 1992 to date. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to state the events leading to the Fourth Republic. Two, you need to demonstrate an understanding of the Fourth Republic. The lesson begins. What is a republic? When we say a republic, a republic is a period when a country is ruled by democratically elected president. They rule the country using a constitution. What is a constitution? A constitution is a set of rules used to govern a country. Let's look at Ghana's first republic. A magnificent motor for the first president of Ghana, now a republic. Dr. Nkrumah is head of government as well as head of state. For the last time, the governor general's flag was flying in Accra as Lord Listowel, the last to hold office as governor general of Ghana, arrived for the ceremonies. Musical honors and a smart guard were accorded. A new republic must be scrupulously correct. As Lord Listowel entered the parliament building, the flag was lowered. A matter for regret? Well, Ghana has chosen to remain in the Commonwealth anyway. There was a banquet to mark this great event in the history of the country, with Dr. Nkrumah making a speech. In the course of it, he thanked Lord Listowel for the Queen's message of good wishes. And a toast to the Republic. For all Ghanaians, naturally, it was a case of one celebration after another. They expressed their delight by dancing. Impromptu, al fresco, that's the way. When President Nkrumah, wearing Ghanaian costume for the occasion, drove through the capital, he got a great reception. That was natural enough too, for he, more than any other man, was responsible for the achievement of this moment. people of Accra seem to be expressing their faith in his continuing leadership and the future of the Republic. Well, our first Republic occurred on the 5th of July, 1960. Now let's look at the other Republics before the Fourth Republic. Now, just like we saw the first Republic, the president at that time was Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. His presidency lasted for from 1st July 1960 to 24th February 1966. When Ghana gained independence on 6 March 1957, the Queen of Britain, Queen Elizabeth, was still the head of state. However, on 1st July 1960, Ghana became absolutely free from Britain's dominance and elected our first president. Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. His ring, just like I said, lasted from 1st July 1960 to 24th February 1966, when his government was overthrown by Emmanuel Kwesi Kutuka, ending the First Republic. On 3rd September 1969, Ghana was ushered into her second Republican constitution with Dr. Kofi Abrifa Busia, pictured on your screen, as Prime Minister, and Edward Akufu Addo as ceremonial president. However, their rule only lasted until 1972, when their government was overthrown by I.K. Echampong, bringing an end to the Second Republic. The military ruled until 1979 when power was given back to a civilian government and the third Republican constitution was established. Two years later, Dr. Hila Liman's government was ousted out of power by Jerry John Rawlings, ending the third republic. So Rawlings ruled until we were ushered to the fourth republic. Let's end here and have some few exercises. We will back and continue.